and I'll be zero and zero back here with another video tonight. And tonight's video is my tips and predictions and for the State of Origin game two, of course. And um, yeah, State of Origin game two is just this Sunday at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. So back in Queensland yet again. Um, yeah, you know, obviously just backing up, backing up on last time you know, in game one uh, in Townsville. You know, Blues smashed Queensland fifty points to six. So it was obviously. A bit of a shock. I mean, I don't think it was a shock in terms of Blues winning, but I think that, that scoreline, you know, just was a real shock to many people because I, I think that many people thought, you know, it wouldn't be that uh, big of a scoreline. But, um, you know, clearly Maroons were, were terrible in game one. You know, their forwards getting bashed by Blues forwards. Um, Sherry Evans, Munster, you know, all the other key players for the Maroons, uh, basically the whole spike is Harry Grant and Val Holmes were very quiet. They... Struggled to get themselves, struggle to get themselves into the game. Um, yeah, you know, obviously it was a very bad night for the Maroons. I think the Maroons were obviously very disappointed, very embarrassed to having play like that in front of their home fans and you know home territory in Queensland and in Townsville. And um, I'm sure they'll be looking to uh, bounce back back at home territory at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. But um, you know, Blues, I'm sure they're full of confidence at the moment. Um, the squad says so with how all the players are, how all the players are acting in the Blues camp. Um, you know they they they're in good spirits the Blues, which is good to see. And for Queensland, I'm sure they'll still be hurting. But um, yeah, look, I think um, I think Queensland will be better than they were in Game One. I think with the additions of um, let's go, let's say yeah, with the additions of Andrew McCulloch, I think McCulloch's been in good form this year personally. I think he'll be he'll bring a good um defensive uh mindset in the middle for um. Yeah, Maroons, Josh Papalihi, or Papali, I don't know how it's been called now, but, um, you know, I think either way, he'll be a very big big in for the uh, Maroons. I think I think Maroons will be missing him in game one, because especially when their forwards were getting bashed, I think um, uh, Papalihi will um, do really well when he comes back for the Maroons. It's a big in for them. And then, um, you know, Ben Hunt this time off the bench, I think that's good utility there for the Maroons. And... Uh, Francis Mollo, who's a, another debutant from the Queensland side, he comes in and uh, I think he's been a very underrated form ever since last year for the Cowboys. And, um, you know, the new one, uh, you know, Reese Walsh. You know, Reese Walsh, I'm not, I'm not too sure about this one. I mean, I like Reese Walsh. I think Reese Walsh is a really good kid. I think he's got a huge future. And, um, actually, Reese Walsh, I've been really impressed with him. But I think it's pretty stupid considering where the Blues, oh no, the Queensland Maroons, sorry, they, how they got smashed against the Blues. Um, game one, and obviously, you know, you're going to rely on one kid to kind of fix the whole Queensland team. I mean, that's pretty dumb, right? I mean, Paul Green, that's pretty poor selecting by Paul Green there. I, I know I know, Reese Walsh will be a future um, origin player for Queensland either way, because you just see the way he's playing and how he's going. He'll be definitely a representative player, but to chuck him in at 18 years old right now in a team that just came off a huge 50 uh, point, you know, lost to the um, Blues, I think it's really stupid chucking an 18-year-old because what if, you know, what if um, the Blues do it again and how's his confidence going to be after that, you know, for Reese Walsh, you know, it's, he's only played seven games as well, so you don't want to wreck his career after getting smashed in origin, but um, I hope I hope all the best for him uh, as a Blues fan, but not too much luck because I obviously want the Blues to win. And, uh, you know, for the Blues, the team, you know, not much changes. I mean, Jake Trevojevic is out because of a hip quad injury, so that's only two weeks out for him. So his replacement, obviously, at prop is Junior Pulo, who in game one was starting off the bench in Jersey 15, but will move from the bench now to starting prop. And um, and Angus Crichton's now back for the um, Blues as well, um, obviously because of suspension. So I think it's good to see him back in the team, and he'll be off the bench replacing Junior Pulo in that Jersey 15 spot off the bench. And, um, you know, apart from that, the rest of the Blues team is the same, and... Um, I think it's always good to keep us to keep the same team because um obviously you know why change why change something if the team's winning you know and um obviously the team was fantastic in game one so I expect nothing less from game two as well and um yeah look I I think um it'd be an, it'd be another good origin I mean hopefully hopefully it's closer just so it's more entertaining for the fans and it makes it more interesting unlike I was in game one I mean don't, don't get me wrong as a Blues fan I was really enjoying how the Blues were smashing Queensland I think it was fantastic for all New South Wales people but I prefer it being a lot more close next time just so it's a bit more engaging for the fans and just makes it more interesting you know because I think when you see too much thrashing it just becomes a little bit dis makes people um, be a little bit disinterested so 
Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's closer like it is with um, majority of Origin matches, you know. Um, yeah, so let's get into my uh, predictions now. So I think, um, personally, I think uh, the, the uh, first try scorer, uh, now looking at both teams, you know, there's a lot of good try scorers there, like Ado Carr, Felt, Gagai, who always scores in Origin, uh, Trevojevic, uh, even back for East Walsh, he, he can find a try somehow, I reckon. Uh, Toto, Tedesco, um, yeah, they've got a lot of um, a lot of good try scorers. Um, actually, both teams from Maroons and the Blues. But um, yeah, I'm gonna say Blues uh, will score the first try. I mean, last time I said Xavier Coates for the first try in game one, and that did not go well at all. And he's not even playing this game either. So I'm gonna go the Blues for the first try. Now, you might be thinking I might go with Tom Trulovich here, but I actually won't. But I feel like the um, the try assist will be from Tom Trulovich down to. Ado Carr, I think Josh, Josh Ado Carr will get the first try of State of Origin. Now, Ado Carr was very quiet in game one, obviously, because Tom was taking the majority of the ball away from him, and obviously Ado Carr didn't get much opportunities down that uh, right hand side. But, um, you know, I feel like Ado Carr will bounce back in game two, and obviously he'll be disappointed that he did not, um, you know, score score a try, especially him being a winger, did not score a try in a 50 point thrashing. So I feel like he'll get one this time in game two. Uh, so I pick Ado Carr for the first try. My man, the match for this game now. I, I do think, um, well, and I'm supposed to say this last, but I, I reckon the Blues will win. But I'll get into my score, uh, what my, what I think the score will be after that. But um, yeah, I think the man, the match personally, I reckon the man, the match will be. Um, I reckon, um, you know what? I actually reckon uh, I say Yo will be man, the match for the Blues. I reckon he'll, he'll have a big game. I, I say Yo. I think he. Will go really well uh, in the middle. He's a good link man. He's been fantastic at Penrith. You know he's always done a, a very consistent, um, you know, well uh, well done job. And uh, he's he's always um, been on top of his game. I say, yeah. And I feel like that um, after the game we did have in game one, it was it was pretty good. And I feel like he'll just back up that same form in game two. And I feel like he might get a man in the match performance in my opinion. And yeah, look, I kind of spoiled it just then, but um, you know, my tip for this game, I reckon the Blues will beat the Maroons. I wouldn't be surprised if the Maroons did win because it's in home territory, and plus, you know, I feel like that the Maroons are obviously gonna be very embarrassed after what happened in Game One. I feel like that, you know, um, they've got enough uh, leaders in that team. Like Cherry Evans is a confidence player who brings. Um, I guess a lot of confidence back to the team after a thrashing Munster. You know they've got a lot of good talkers. Like I think Holmes is considered a leader as well. Papali, um, you know, yeah, McCully, like a lot of good leaders in there that could definitely help turn around this Queensland team. But um, I still think Blues have a, have a stronger and better team. So I will go with the Blues and a much closer scoreline. I will go the Blues twenty six points to twenty. I reckon it'd be a bit more points, but a bit more close at the same time. But guys. That's my State of Origin Game 2 uh, tip and predictions. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in another video.